Well, some Cleveland leaders say Ohio may only get 94 million of the 250 million it requested in federal demolition funds to take down vacant homes like this one right here. That neighboring states like Michigan may actually get double that amount and that a mistake on an application may be to blame. Empty, 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 empty. Cleveland Councilman Michael Polenzik points to the dozens of abandoned homes in his neighborhood. Look at this one. Again, wide open. Wide open. I have to have kids walk past this crap every day. Polenzik stunned to learn Ohio could lose up to 90 million in demolition funds, according to the Coalition on Homelessness in Ohio. And all because the application for the funds filed by the Ohio Housing Finance Agency may have been flawed. And to hear that we, we were going to lose this, we could lose this amount of money, it is, it's incomprehensible to me. I just, I can't even comprehend that. In response, the Ohio Housing Finance Agency told me it disagrees with the U.S. Treasury ruling on its application and that it will fight to get Ohio a larger amount of the federal demolition funds it deserves. Jay Westbrook with the Western Reserve Land Conservancy says Ohio was only given about 32% of the funds it asked for, while Michigan is likely set to get more than 60% of its request. If the governor has to step in, the governor should step in. Because us taxpayers, citizens, deserve a better deal than this. And I was told the Ohio Finance Agency was in two conference calls with the U.S. Treasury earlier today trying to figure out why Ohio is receiving less money. A decision on whether Ohio could be given more could come by the end of the week. Reporting here in Cleveland, I'm 5 on your side investigator Joe Paganakis.